Well, tonight we're learning more about the rapid increase in fraud for people who use peer-to-peer -peer payment apps like Venmo, PayPal, or Zelle. And Equal is giving us a closer look at how you can keep those accounts secure when using these apps. She joins us in studio this evening. Hannah. Hi, Brian and Sam. According to a Manhattan district attorney, fraud claims while using payment apps have tripled between 2020 to 2022. Today, I learned more about what makes these apps dangerous if you don't take the proper precautions. It is a social channel, just like a lot of social networks, and your information can be stolen and used for ill there, just as it can be off of any other social platform. The Better Business Bureau is speaking out on how you can best avoid becoming the next fraud victim while using apps like Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, or Zelle. Vice President of the South Dakota BBB, Jesse Schmidt, offers that the best way to protect yourself starts with privacy. We think it's important to keep all of that information private, right? Nobody really see, needs to see who you're spending money with or giving money to or anything like that. Other tips include utilizing two-factor authentication and making sure all of your information is up to date, like your phone number. One Sioux Falls business that previously used PayPal says they never saw fraudulent issues, but something else raised concerns. When people would check out online, um, it would prompt a pop-up window that um, wasn't clear during the PayPal process um, that would require them to log in, and so that would kind of get missed and no payment would get processed at all. Um, so we just decided to avoid it all together and just make it very simple and clear cut. Management at Chelsea's Boutique says they aren't currently looking into bringing PayPal back at their store, but Jesse from the BBB says that when shopping at businesses who use these payment methods, to ask yourself, what is the benefit to you when utilizing these apps? If you do fall victim to this crime, the BBB says you should report the case just like you would for your credit card. To find a full list of additional chips, tips from the BBB, you can check out this story on dakotanewsnow.com. Brian. All right, Hannah, thank you.